G'day, Brett here. Reliability when traveling in remote areas is very important. And I know I have an intermittent short in my windscreen wiper circuit. So to be absolutely certain that it's not something more catastrophic, I'm going to pull the whole dash off again and recheck all my wires, make sure there's no tight corners or sharp edges where the wires can chafe through and potentially start a fire behind the dash. So I'll show you a basic step-by-step -step guide of how to remove your Defender dash in case you'd like to do the same thing. Here's how. First I'll need to disconnect the batteries before I do anything. I have my primary battery which I can remove the positive cables from and my secondary battery, battery I can use the lockout. Next I'll remove this casing and this rubber mat just so I have easier access. Use a screwdriver to lever out the Land Rover badge on the side and remove the three screws. On the lower section also three screws. The unit should slide outwards. So if you ever need to access your windscreen wiper motor for any reason to replace the stop switch or any of the other wiring, just pull these two parts off, you have easy access. Undo the speaker cable, easy as. A few minute job. Now because I've already modified my dash with a mud pod and rafter dash, I'm going to have to pull these off before I can take the rest off, which means a lot of wires for me to remove. If you don't have any modifications, it's a much easier job. But the mud pod will just have two screws on each side, this will pop up, then I can undo any of the wires and take it from there. To remove the top panel, there are seven screws. And three on the side. There is also a third screw on top beneath my mud pod, so I had to pull off the backing plate. Once I've got all this main section out, I can take out these screws along to take the plastic uh, covering off. All that should remain then are these two plastic clips a bit higher up. If you have the correct forked tool, you can lever it in and pull it out, otherwise I'm just using a flat piece behind. Okay, that one just broke, it's a little brittle. That's okay though, it's not too important. Try the other one. That's all it is. Simple little plastic push clip. And this is where you'll need a great deal of patience to manoeuvre the piece out. Then remove the bottom black tray. This now gives you access to a few bolts. Two here, one there, and one over here. They're probably eight millimeter bolts or something. Take those two out and all the screws underneath and the whole dash should just come away. Give the dash a pull to break it free from the firewall. There are still more wires and a cable to disconnect if you want to remove the dash completely. And there we go, the dash is basically down. I have full access to all the wires. I can easily trace everything, change it as I require. <laughs> 